guys and welcome back to the channel i'm spirit aka sub of the summer hope you're doing well today so i've got the final part of my little, little simple building tips and tricks video we're gonna get inside and we're gonna furnish the whole build today our sim here was having a chat but i'm assuming he's gone down to do some sit-ups which all sims love to do but anyway she's made a friend at least but um it's not about her it's about the house that we're building thanks so much for the love on the series so far and i did get a comment and they said that they use preset kind of um rooms and i came i thought it might be a good idea to now do another video where i use the preset rooms and then try and build something from that so if you're a beginner at building maybe it could be a good idea to just use the pre-made rooms and redecorate them however you wish but I'm gonna kind of play around with them and see how I can make it into like a fully fledged house but yeah let's just give it a go if you like the idea of that please give me a thumbs up if you like the way this videos are going already do give me a thumbs up as well I'd really appreciate it but enough waffling let's go over to build mode the terrain paints here is not my best work but um I just went in and added slightly more terrain paints and I like symmetry so I don't understand why in the last video I didn't copy this and do it on this side so just as I started filming I did it on the other side because when I looked back at it I was like why would I do that I love symmetry so why would I do such a thing but yeah the last time we just did some terrain paints we did some oh there's a plate out here she clearly she was munching away on something I'm not sure what to do up here maybe we could do a little seating area maybe and I'm really confused about this floor plan but I have an idea of how I'm gonna make it work oh okay ignore the random stuff that we got in the house I had to um give her some stuff so she could survive <laughs> and um, yeah I'm probably gonna change the sconces as well because they are huge I was even thinking oh, no I was thinking of pulling this out and dividing the space like this but I wanted it to kind of be a bit more like that and get rid of this wall you guys can't really see what I'm talking about because it's very dark in here so this is still the kitchen, but I was imagining this could be a little walkway and then we could have a dining space there. The door I will shuffle and then this will be the main living space. Could potentially even add in like an office space potentially as well because there's a good amount of room, good amount of room. Because I was just like, how do I divide this space up and make it look interesting? This space could probably be utilised a bit better, so maybe I won't have a wall here. So I'm just going to click the wall. Oh click the wall and if I double click it it comes up with these options to remove the wall replace the wall with a full, um, half wall or a fence I'm just gonna click remove the wall so that's how it, it works if you click on the wall you want to remove this could potentially be a better kitchen I don't know I feel like in normal floor plans you have a kitchen that's quite close to the bathroom so maybe it makes sense to do that and then I'm thinking of putting an archway here for the dining area I'm not sure if I'm gonna put an archway on this side of the wall as well you could potentially move windows around I was gonna put the door here and like swap it with the window actually this is the thing with floor plans be prepared to like shuffle things around because I feel like it doesn't work if you try to stick to whatever you've kind of gone with I feel like if, once you've got a floor plan down you can really play around with the room a bit better but before then it's it's kind of like all bits are off really I use these lights so often <laughs> so often and uh, just a reminder I did put on move objects I'm gonna put a little sconce. Is that what it's called? Sconce? No, saucer light. So the kitchen, we haven't got loads of wall space now. I'm looking at it. Because if we've got the door there, we can only really use like a little bit of that wall, a little bit. Of the, mm. Is there a way we could push the ladder across? Okay, that should work better for us. Um, yeah. Yeah. do the doors opposite then it will give us a bit of room but even then so we're gonna have to like utilize this wall and like this wall which is a bit of an awkward position so maybe it was better if we did have a window and not the door see got to shuffle things around got to shuffle things around so I'm thinking dining area here and kitchen in here and could I squeeze this door for the bathroom in the dining area instead and then maybe I could have kept that same position. Then we have all round here. Yeah, so probably need to do that. So I'm just gonna undo, which I pressed L2. Yeah, L2 to undo. Is that everything moved to back to where it was? No, that was where it was. Okay, and then I'm just gonna grab the door to the bathroom. 
slide it in there maybe you guys saw that before i did and saw that as an opportunity and i didn't pick up on it my bad i don't want to put an archway here just because i want to utilize all of this space so like an l-shaped kind of counter situation is what i'm looking at it's like fridge counter space corner piece um potentially the oven here another counter space and then possibly sink or maybe sink i'll figure it out i'll figure it out but yeah i want to use use all this space here and i don't really want to eat into it by putting an archway into the dining room i mean it would make sense because then if you're cooking you just walk in here to serve but um you're gonna have to walk out and around to serve sorry sorry yeah. and so we have to sort out this front door situation now because it is clipping slightly into the other space so yeah it's not as balanced as it was but i don't it's not bothering me it's not actually bothering me so i can live with it <laughs> so let's get a little archery i'm gonna get the one that matches the doors that we've used with a little window above it so oh no not get to work base game please so here are this one and i'm just gonna go for the white because all the doors are white and then i'm just gonna put that here i don't know how i'm gonna hide this ladder if you guys want to utilize it you now know how but i'm gonna get rid of that ladder because it's getting on my nerves <laughs> i don't want to work with it anymore so um, no, change the direction to this way. Thank you. So if you want to utilize it, you know you can place the ladder in there and probably fiddle around with the floor plan a lot better. But I know I'm not going to actually use that space, so it's better if I just do this and uh, keep it all simple. I'm thinking of probably centering it a bit and putting the living space kind of in the middle. So I could like slide the door along a bit more. Potentially also with this one, which gives us a bit more room to have maybe an extra counter piece. So, um, yeah, let me stop waffling. Let me quickly, well, not quickly, but let's add some outdoor seating. There's the ones that I want to use. Oh, I don't think it's actually an outdoor furniture. I think it's indoors, but I really like them for outside. It's not this pattern. It's that one for around this one here. I think it's really cute. So I want to use this one. Um, probably put it that way instead. And um, to rotate the item, I'm using R1. I don't think I've shown you that one before so yeah maybe we'll go with the dark wood and like the blue and green i think it goes really well with the outside like decor yeah like i said these windows are not the same height it looks like they're not or maybe the plant is throwing me off oh okay i think the windows were the same height i think it was the plant is throwing me off i think this is the matching wood i can't tell the lighting is pretty poor here which i can change which i t always forget about but it's the back of the house which the lighting is always a bit funny at the back so yeah, just, just trying to scoot that in. I don't think this is even this. Oh, it is the same shade. Okay, okay, crisis over. It is. And maybe a little cut up clutter piece to put on there. Maybe we could put a little book out there, you know? We could do some writing out here. So let's turn it that way. Yeah, I always finish the kitchen first. I was watching um, Simmery Sims and uh, on the str on stream. On the stream. On stream. <laughs> And they said that they go for the kitchen or dining, I think living room first. And I was like, I actually always go for the kitchen first, you know, when it comes to furnishing. So, um, yeah, let me know in the comments. What room do you normally furnish first when you get into decorating and furnishing a room? So, hallelujah, we have extra swatches because of the base game update that was like months and months ago. Maybe it was last year. Was it this year or was it last year? I can't remember. But hallelujah, because we definitely needed them. So, I'm going to put the grid on because I like to remember where the square tile is okay i have an idea i'm thinking oven here corner piece corner piece fridge and then a full piece here sink and then an end piece and if you go onto the counters when you click on the counters you might have it off so you might have to like toggle it on because you have auto counter placements and you have like um like you can place them yourself so at the moment it will be auto counter so if i had something here which i'll show you guys and then i put it here it will snap to a corner piece just automatically because it's like it can see it's a corner here it won't because i haven't got a piece here but if i did it would snap as well to a corner piece but i personally like doing it myself i just like picking out out myself so i'd click on the little gears and then you can go through and it shows you the left piece and inner corner the full like the tile and the outer corner so you can do it yourself if you want like manually or you can just have the auto counters on and like have it do it for you basically i'm probably going to use this one I'm, I'm going to keep it pretty simple basic i don't think we need a super fancy kitchen i really like this fridge and 
I know it might be like it's the most basic one, probably the cheapest one, but it's one of my favorites. I use it all the time. And I think I like it because it's like a white fridge and it's got this like brass almost um, handle. I don't know. The other one doesn't. The other one just has a white handle and I don't like it. I know some people don't like white fridges, but our fridge is white and I like it. Like in real life. <laughs> because there's always a gap. Like by default, by placing the fridge down just by itself, originally there's this gap here. And I hate it. I absolutely hate it. <laughs> So I always just use free placement and move it myself and as you can see it's clipping into the door so at this point I would just shuffle the door down. Oven, stoves, whichever one you want to call it. I'm going to go with this one, keep it simple basic and if you stay in the oven you can find your range hoods. I want to go with this one to kind of just tie it in a bit with the, the browns. You will see here the cabinets. Again this is the same as the um, counters. It, you can turn it on auto or you can do it yourself. So you have like the left end piece, the inner corner piece, you have the tile, you have a double tile, which I kind of like using sometimes. And then you've got the half tile, which I tend to use above the range hood. I can't remember who I see build and they do this and I, I've just been doing it ever since. I'm going to go with the right end piece here. And then I might corner it off, but I might end it with just a full tile here. I won't wrap counters around the whole of the uh, build, I'll leave it. I just look like it's glitching and it's like by itself. I'm going to move that down Oop. and put that range hood just yeah, underneath it like that. And uh, for safety reasons, <laughs> I'll put in a little fire alarm. I mean, sometimes it's handy, sometimes sometimes maybe good, sometimes might be bad. So, you know, it is what it is. I could get rid of this because we do need a bin. So I just like when the countess feels a bit more finished at the edge, but honestly, Aesthetics isn't the reason why I'm doing this build. It's really just to show you guys what I'm How I kind of like approach a build So I'm gonna just place it in there use free placement to just kind of tuck it in a bit more So in the room bit in the kitchen you can click on miscellaneous I try not to clutter up my rooms and stuff too much just because the clutter can sometimes interfere with the gameplay So if you have a lot of clutter on the counter They will struggle to be able to cook or prepare food on the counters So I try to keep it to a minimum because I don't want to have my sims complain that they can't reach anything or they can't cook or whatever. So um, I kind of sometimes just use the like corner pieces because most of the time they don't use them. Sometimes they do even though when there's a full piece to use. I always use the kitchen roll. We, we need so much more clutter because I use the same ones all the bloody time. You know now. what that corner with the bin is looks a bit boring so I'm going to go with this little keras. What, did it, what, did it, what was it called? This little case thingy. I'm just going to pop it in the corner there. And I'm gonna have to move the bin now that that's there. And then that's also you can go into clutter. And there's a few things that you could probably put in the kitchen as well. I don't think I want to use. Oh, the little cookie jar. That's quite fun to use sometimes. I wish we had more things like that. You know, like maybe a bit more of a modern one as well, like cookie jars and sweet jars. Just some more stuff to put in kitchens. We can go with the lilies in like the little yellow swatch here. So as you can see, I've just literally thrown everything down on the one counter. So I'm just gonna move this out of the way so I can see. And then I'm going to tilt the camera so I can see like bird's eye view. And I've done that by just using the arrow keys on the console. That's how it works. And then I'm going to push that there. Push that, push that. Okay. That sounded inappropriate. I'm going to place this here. <laughs> and I'm just going to use free placement to kind of slide it in. And it's already going to be at the height that you need it to be because it's coming straight from the counter. And then again, free placement. I'm just going to place all the clutter around the way I want to. There is a little lip, as you can see here, at the back of the counter, so sometimes it can clip in, depending on how close to the wall you've placed the items. So, I think that's just something to bear in mind. And there you go, you've got, got a nice bit of clutter there. I don't know if this is too low, I don't think it is. I might raise it up by like a half tile. Sometimes I'm like, it feels a bit too low, but it also can feel too high. It's like, how can anyone reach these cabinets? Maybe it's just me, speaking from the fact that I'm like 5'3", but... I don't know. Anyone else triggered? <laughs> no trick. I'm gonna scroll to here so I can get wall decorations because we got um, aprons which is handy and a nice piece of clutter to have in your kitchen. I like putting up a cork board in my kitchens and I think it's because in my mind I'm like you can put little sticky like in real life you can put sticky notes up there and be like okay what do I add to shopping list or like postcards maybe you've got relatives that live away and you can put postcards in it like I don't know it's just a nice piece of clutter that I can add. You can add in a rug as well. I'm gonna 
add one to the back door and not necessarily like in the full kitchen so that's the kitchen very simple like swing over here get a little dining table out it takes me a really long time to finish rooms so i'm surprised i'm getting through this relatively quickly i say that but i don't know how long i've been um, filming so it could be a lot longer than i imagine it what it is oh i'm actually going to change the table and go with these chairs and like maybe go over light wood and the light blue which is really cute and then I get a little salt and pepper shaker thingy, put it there in the middle, get the chair, put that there. I'm going to move it, but like half tile, so that when I put a curtain there, it's not clipping through the table. Because I'm definitely going to put a curtain. And then this space here, I don't know what I'm going to do. If I can put a little hutch, which has like plates and dishes and stuff in it. I'll probably use this one, which I do use quite often, I can't lie, but it's just, it's cute. I'm going to use replacement just to make sure it's really like snuggled into the corner there. And just not taking up a huge amount of space. And if that is against the wall, I think it is. I'm going to click the lamps. I can't remember who I saw do this. I can't remember if it was Rachel Ped or if it was, um, oh, who else was it? There's another creator that I watch. I can't remember who it was that did this, but I've seen them do it and I was like, yep, this makes so much sense. I'm going to do it. So they put a lamp in the middle of the table. So when you move the table away, you know where the center is. And then you can place the items that you want to be in the center, like literally in the lamp. And then you just delete the lamp and that that just like works as essentially a marker this is i'm at some terrible angles i'm so sorry guys this room is pretty small as well so that doesn't help so i've put the plant in the middle i'm going to turn the salt and pepper shakers around place that like just next to the plant there and then when i place this back which was on um half tile and i remove this you've got a nice placement you know the items are placed nicely oh it's not as, it's not exactly straight so let's uh <laughs> shuffle that around a bit um, I can't believe this is so expensive. It's literally a map. But we're going to put that there. We're going to need to cheat some more money. <laughs> I don't know if that's too low, if I should put that. Yeah, I probably should. Um, half tile, please, and put that slightly higher. No rug for the little dining area, but that's what I would do in this little space. Real simple. And then the living space, I had in mind that I was going to put TV here. Or I could put sofa here. TV here. Desk over here if I could squeeze in a bookcase maybe over this side then I'm gonna put down a rug first which is what I see little Simsy do and I was like you know what maybe that makes sense maybe we we'll go over blue theme so if I put the rug kind of where I want everything to be centered around so like here and then you can kind of like put the coffee table right in the center of it I think we're gonna go for like light woods I'm feeling that I'm feeling that a lot so we go with that coffee table can we go with this one I don't know if it even comes... It does come in a light blue swatch. I don't know if that's too much blue, though. Like, I think the rug should be the statement, you know? Okay, it's not centered as I want it to be. I kind of want it to be there. So I'm going to have to move the rug there. Move the rug here. And then put the TV here. Which isn't going to be, like... Actually, no. Placement's going to be fine. I might have to go with a cream. Like this. Should we just, like, embrace the blue? Yeah, let's do it. And then I'll go with a grey in the dining area. Yeah. Cool. I'm happy with that. This one here. And the, the light wood as well. There we go. Um, we're going to need more money for the TV. <laughs> I'm going to go with the giant TV. We'll go with the small one. We'll go with the small one. Go with a black chair. Oh, that's not where I wanted it. But yeah. We're going with a black go to this chair. I want it to be here. But I think it would make sense it being here. Just for like space wise but i really want it here i think it act is fine it is fine it is clipping into the desk but at this point i'm i'm fine with that i can live with that four thousand for a computer that looks halfway decent is insane yeah i think i'll go with white is this against the wall no i can see there's a gap here so let's replace that and scooch up to the wall maybe i could have fit in a chair here there's like a reading spot yeah no or I, can i put this here no i think it'll clip into the curtains too much i think actually i don't think it will because if i put this here i could squeeze a little chair in that corner which i think would be quite cute yeah i'm gonna slide you back to the wall and just like put it at an angle yeah there you go pop you right there i'm thinking this one in that corner here and I'll just free place it so it just fits a bit nicer. I don't want it clipping into anything. Oh my gosh. 
But I also want it to have its moment. There we go. I might change the pot to the latter one. No, black. We'll change it to black. Yeah, I'm going to put it to that kind of corner. I'm going to get clutter and probably put something down there. Because I like the idea of having some clutter in front of a mirror. Okay. Squeeze you in that corner there. Let's have a look at you. It's not terrible. It's a bit of an awkward position. Or it's just... Just looks a bit random there. We'll go with the black and white. Add some, add some ex accents in here. I'm gonna put you there, turn you at an angle. Maybe I'll bring the tissue box over here. Some of the, the some of the placements are okay. They're not terrible, but like, it's just better when you get to organize your own space. Yeah, I'm just to move this so I can have it in my own kind of position. That is gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm setting them for that. That is gonna be fine. Oh, a wall decoration I could use is like the coat hanging thingy. This one here. Remember the red? A bit different. Add some colour to the room. Change this. I might go with like a dark brown to match like the wood tone that's on the sofa. Oh yeah. I think that's the key as well. Just like bring in the different colours from the different. Um, pieces of furniture so if you have like a dark wood add in some dark wood somewhere if you have some light wood add it in oh. I feel like it just makes things match a little better if you have like matching woods and I feel like having all the woods match is, is sometimes a bit I don't know it just doesn't doesn't look right I sized it up by accident but I might leave it that size I might bring it down a slight bit more we'll pop that hill we'll pop that here I'm thinking of like putting it in the corner maybe yeah I thought that was a bit more realistic we could put a rug as well and we'll just change it to like white yeah that's fine. and um, let's go for this bed but we want something that's gonna match in with the uh, walls this matches quite well like but too well does it look too matchy matchy I don't think so we're gonna go with some like side tables that have like the matching woods if we have a swatch that matches. Is this like close enough? Close enough. I'll go with this plant here. And then a lamp on the other side, maybe. Like this one almost. Or maybe this one. I think this works better with the bed. Like the bed spread. And then is that gonna be enough space to put chest of drawers for her to walk past? I mean we've got the sim here. But I think to just make it like work the way I know it will work I'm gonna put it next to the window and not opposite the bed I think it's gonna be a bit of a change the intensity of the light and the color so set color and intensity you can also turn on the light you can do auto lights which means whenever a sim walks into a room the light will turn on I like doing that apparently it saves on some of your electricity bills but I don't know because I always use auto lights I don't know if there's actually a difference because I don't play with auto lights off I play with it on if that makes sense you can turn off the light and then when you click on it it'll come up saying this light all lights or this room so you can choose if the lights change in one room or all the rooms or just this specific lamp that I'm clicking on I'm gonna say all lights and I'm gonna go to the neutral white because I just prefer when all the lights are that neutral white tone and so like it makes I just I don't I'm not a fan of yellowy lights I'm not a fan of it so yeah you can come and sit in your new living room. I can't believe she's complaining about the decor. That's so rude. If I put that there, I don't think you'll have problems. I'm going to free place that and like move that there. Potentially put a little chair in here. A little chair. To just, you know, maybe put your shoes on or... I don't know. <laughs> what other things do people use chairs for? <laughs> oh boy, I think I'm delirious at this point. So let's, let's move this to like here. I'm pretty sure I should be able to use that fine if I put it there. That should be fine to use. I don't see why they would have a problem. And just go to class. Let's put some makeup and perfumes and stuff on there. We'll put a little tissue box up there again. We'll just go with the white one. I think water commissions you could put in a bedroom. I don't really think so. Maybe you can put some like clothes on the walls. I don't use these a lot like if I make a basement or some kind of like extra room I will use them because I feel like they work better in things like that as opposed to like a bedroom because to me it just kind of looks like an open closet kind of thing 
Oh, we have to find the shelf that matches this one. There we go. I'm going to put that there. Put this maybe just on the other side of it. A little further back, maybe. Yeah. Is that even. Oh, okay. I could move that. I could actually move that closer. Or further back, sorry. Because this is even. Yeah. Because, like, once it's in the lamp, I know that's the center. So I can move that there. I know that's the center of the desk and the dresser. So I know I can move this. And it'll be fine. And I can move that there. Just move that there. Is that all that I put up here? Yeah. Let's get a plant because that's that's very little items. Let me put it next to it. Maybe a little bit further back. Maybe even at an angle. Just put it over here. It's got a whole desk. I mean, chest of drawers to fill up. Half tile. And then free placement. Just scooch it back. There we go. Get rid of you. Cute. And then the chair, I would have a better idea as to like, yeah, I think that's fine. I think that's fine, to be fair. Do you know what I can add in here? Well, I don't know what to add into like space that I've got. A robe. Oh, and the laundry basket. That's a good point. So you can add that to the door. Like, oh, it's not snapping to where I want it to. I want it to snap kind of like on the frame. Ugh. You're not doing what I want. Or you can just place it basically in the door. Because it's not doing what I want it to do. <laughs> and then the laundry basket. I might put it in that angle. Wait, no. It's going to clip into the door too much, I think. So I'll free place that. And I'll put it on here. On this side. How about this one? Eh. Okay. It fits. It fits. I might change the swatch though. It's very pink. Maybe to that grey. Just the, the vase. A slightly better. Slightly better, less boring. Oh, that plant I could scooch back a bit more. Otherwise it's gonna cause problems, I bet. Yeah. I don't think much needs explained in a bathroom. It's one of the most boring rooms. Because every bathroom would technically have the same thing going on in it. So let's move the toilet. Out of the bloody way this over here because I feel like it makes sense because it's like next door walls so like the plumbing would be in there and stuff you know just a bit of realism I'm gonna free place that and move it a little bit like that um I could put the mirror I mean the, the sink just next to the door there move that towel to there for now move that over there for now toilet in that little corner Wait, it roll over here. Might have to. I hope that's not too high. I think it's okay. You can kind of see the tiles underneath this, which I don't think I've ever noticed before. Plop it in that way. I'm gonna move the towels situation. I'm sorry for the terrible camera skills, guys. Move the towel to like there. That's fine over there. I can move the sink along here put you here and then this little laundry basket thingy could I put you here yeah I'm gonna put it here turn it around the right way just it in here bit of clutter in there and I'm probably gonna use the same curtains as I did in every other room so yeah let's put it there that's fine should I change this swatch I'm gonna go with the grey it's kind of cute also accents there's a little cupboard thing that I can add above the toilet as well. This one. Does this come in the grey as well? No, just the white. White is fine. I can put white. Uh, free place. A little bit higher. It's very simple, but it does what needs to be done. Like I said, I will put this up in the gallery for you guys. Let's do a live tour. You go inside, and you are opened up to the living area. She's not watching TV, she's literally just sitting there. Fair enough. I think I've got, um, actually, what's turning me off. We've got a bookcase, a little reading nook there, plant. Got your shoe rack and a mirror. Got a nice mirror above the sofa here. And then you've got a uh, clothes rack. You've got your office space. A nice gallery picture there. And the TV. A nice plant. First room you'll see to your right is a little dining space. You come and eat. 
got a little view at the window, very small view, but it's cute nevertheless. Picture, you've got your hutch and a plant there, we'll go over here, I don't know what's happening, and we've got a bathroom, <laughs> toilet, some storage, bath in the shower here, a towel, and we've got a little cabinet here, we've got the sink, we've got some clutter down there as well, the mirror, cosy, you come out, go back out here, turn to the right, and you're gonna have your kitchen, let's go in here, we've got some clutter here, your bin, um, aprons, you've got the little cork board thingy, you've got your sink, you've got counter space, oven, fridge, fire alarm, obviously in case of emergencies, now I can see the height of this, I think that looks okay actually, yeah, and then you've got your cabinets on top there as well as your range hood. And you've got your slidey doors so you can go outside, enjoy the sun. Got a little reading space out here as well as just a chill space. You go down these steps here. You've got some outdoor seating, like dining. You've got your bin out there. Barbecue, some plants growing. Lovely big old tree in the back of your garden there. Some excellent terrain painting schools if I do say so myself. They're not very good. I, I oh my gosh it's peeking through the edges I didn't know that before it goes in the gallery I'll sort that out <laughs> and we have a telescope where did my voice go some landscaping here as well opposite the living space we have the bedroom we go in the door here oh gosh and we have our bed we have a nice little picture up there we have a mirror we have some clothes on the wall we have a plant cute we have our robe washing basket our dresser enjoy the grilled cheese and you'll be happy but thanks so much for watching guys i hope this was helpful i hope you enjoyed it i hope you learned something and if you have any questions anything you want me to like bring up in detail do let me know in the comments give this video a like subscribe if you haven't already this build will be up on the gallery so when you're watching this you can just search my gallery id which is the simmer and you can find this build and um i'll see you next guys next what i'll see you next time guys for a new video on this channel take care see you soon bye